Welcome back sa aking channel at sa video ito ay didiscuss ko ang understanding Pearson's correlation coefficient isa na namang topic ng senior high school statistics and probability Ito rin ay research related Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe para maging updated at ma-notify ka sa mga marami ko pang math videos In scatter plot, it interprets quantitatively the pair of variables in terms of its direction and the strength of association regarding the trend of points. Sometimes it does not evidently show that a correlation exists between the two variables resulting to a very difficult to identify the trend line. A statisticians devise a quantitative ways to measure the association between two variables. Its strength of correlation will be indicated by the coefficient of correlation. One of those is the Pearson product moment coefficient of correlation. It is denoted by R for sample correlation coefficient and P for population correlation coefficient. We have two formulas to compute for the coefficient R. The first one is quite longer but it is easier if you will continue to watch this video. And the second one is quite short but it has a solve formulas to solve first to get the values to be substituted on the short formula. After computing the value of the coefficient R, it will be interpreted using the following qualitative description. If the value of computed R is positive or negative one, it has a perfect correlation. If the value of R is positive or negative 0.75 to less than positive or negative one, it has a very high correlation. If the value of R is positive or negative 0.50 to less than positive or negative 0.75, the correlation is moderately high. If R is equal to positive or negative 0.25 to less than positive or negative 0.50, it has a moderately low correlation. If the value of R is greater than 0 to less than positive or negative 0.25, the correlation is very low. And if R is equal to 0, it has no correlation. Or, it can simplify the strength of the computed value of R using the following relationship. If the value of R is close to positive 1, it has a strong positive linear relationship. If the value of R is close to 0, it has a weak or no linear relationship. And if the value of R is close to negative 1, it has a strong negative linear relationship. Let us now apply the above relationships and interpretations in the following related problems. Example 1. A statistics professor at a state college wants to see how strong the relationship between a student's score on a test in his or her grade point average. The data obtained from the sample is as follows. The test score is 98, whose GPA is 21. 105, 2.4, 103.2, up to 112, whose GPA is 3.4. Before we solve the value of the computed R using any of the two formulas, put first the data on the table form like what you see on the screen. First column for the subject number and second column for its test score representing the variable x and its respective gpa representing the variable y next column for the product of x y next is for the square of x and last column for the square of y then we will now complete the data needed first is to get the sum or the summation of the test scores or the variable x and it is 832 do also getting the sum of the variable y and it is 22.1. To proceed on the next column, get the product of x and y. 9.8 times 2.1 equals 205.8. Get also the product of the next 105 times 2.4 equals 252. Do to the rest of the pairs of x and y until 112 times 3.4 equals 380.8. Get also the sum of the product of the x and y, and its sum is 2,321.1.
Next, get the squared of the respective value of the variable x. 98 squared equals 9,604. Get also the squared of 105. 105 squared equals 110,025. 110, Do the same of getting the squared to the rest values of x. Solve also for the summation of x squared and it is 86,890. For our last column, get also the squared of the respective values of y. 2.1 squared is equal to 4.41. 2.4 squared equals 5.76. Please do the same to the remaining values of y. And as usual, get also their summation or sum. Their sum is equal to 63.83. After completing the table, all of the summations in each column will be substituted on the formula of computing the coefficient r. Substituting the values on the formula, n summation of xy from the table is equal to 8 times 2,321.1 Summation of x is 832 Summation of y is equal to 22.1 Continue substituting the values on the denominator and summation of x squared is equal to 8 times 86,890 Summation of x squared is equal to 832 squared and summation of y squared is equal to 8 times 63.83, summation of y squared is equal to 22.1 squared. Simplifying the numerator using scientific calculator, the result is 181.6. Simplifying the denominator, 8 quantity 86,890 minus 832 squared equals 2,896. 8 times 63.83 minus 22.1 squared equals 22.23. Simplify further 181.6 over square root of 2896 multiplied to 22.23. Its quotient is equal to 0 0.716. So, in this particular problem, the computed value of R is equal to 0 0.716. We will use that value to determine the strength of the computed value of R. Since 0 0.716 is close to 1, the correlation coefficient suggests a strong positive linear relationship between the test score and the grade point average. Or in other way, since 0 0.716 is between positive 0 0.50 and positive 0 0.75, it means that there is a moderately high relationship between the test score and the grade point average. <laughs> to solve for R using the second formula, solve first for the summation of the product of xy, the summation of x squared, and the summation of y squared using the values on the table we completed before. After the results, substitute them on the formula. If you will notice, it has the same result of 0 0.716. Also, the conclusions are the same. <laughs> Example 2. The following are the heights of a father and his eldest son in inches. Determine if the hypothesis support that height is hereditary using product moment correlation coefficient. Once again, write the data in table form. First column is the height. Second column is the father's height or the variable x. Third column is the son's height or the variable y on the fourth column is the product of x and y fifth column is the x squared and the last column is for the y squared and another row at the bottom intended for the respective sum or summations to continue get the sum of the variable x it is equivalent to 401 
also the sum of the variable y which is equivalent to 392. Next, get the product of the variables x and y. 71 times 71 equals 5041. And do to the rest of the values. To continue, get the sum of all the products which is equal to 26,292. On the fourth column, solve for the squared of x. 71 squared is equal to 5,041. 67 squared equals 4,489. Do the same to the rest values of x. And their sum is equal to 26,879. On the last column is the squared of y. 71 squared is still 5,041. 69 squared is equal to 4,761. As usual, do to the rest of values of y. And to complete all the informations needed on the formula, get the sum of the squared of y. It is equivalent to 25,746. And all the summations you see at the bottom of the table are all the values needed to be substituted on the formula. After substitution, we will solve 6 quantity 26,292 minus 401 times 392 all over square root of the quantity of 6 times 26,879 minus 401 squared multiplied to the quantity of 6 times 25,746 minus 392 squared. Simplifying the numerator using calculator, the result is 560. Simplifying the denominator, 6 quantity 26,879 minus 401 squared, the result is 473. Simplifying 6 quantity 25,746 minus 392 squared, the result is 812. Simplifying further, 560 over square root of the product of 473 and 812, the result is 0 0.904. And that is now our computed value of R. Since 0 0.904 is between 0 0.75 to less than 1, it has a very high correlation. Or, since 0 0.904 is too close to positive 1, it has a strong positive linear relationship. And for our conclusion, since the correlation coefficient suggests a strong positive relationship or with a very high relationship between the height of the father and his eldest son, it's supported that the height is hereditary. Once again, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe. At i-share mo na rin ito sa iba para makatulong din tayo sa kanila.